exhibit is the uh, Courage to Remember exhibit. Uh, it was created by the Simon Wiesenthal Center uh, and uh, brought to Vermont uh, courtesy of the Holocaust Memorial and Tolerance Center of Nassau County in New York. So my name is Deborah Steinerman. I'm president and co-founder of the Vermont Holocaust Memorial. Uh, I've uh, been speaking to uh, the Fletcher Free Library, Barbara Shatara, uh, for a couple of years now, trying to get this exhibit here. And we're thrilled that things are starting to open up again and we can bring this to the community. And it's a, it's a look at the Holocaust between, uh, between 1933 and 1945, and it outlines some of the, um, sort of in a somewhat chronological order, how uh, the Holocaust came to be and what the um, lasting effects of it have been. One of the main reasons we wanted to do it here at the library is because it's a public space and it deals with uh, issues that unfortunately we see paralleled in our current times and we felt that was um, an important information to, uh, to get out to people. We think uh, it's very important that our uh, citizens get to get a better understanding of what happened during the Holocaust with what's going on in, uh, in Ukraine with Russia coming in. Um, it's a very scary time with uh, anti-Semitism rampant again uh, throughout the country, throughout the world, even in Vermont. Uh, we need these lessons to be learned. Holocaust and genocide education is not required in Vermont. Thankfully, a lot of teachers do cover it in their classes, but there is no guidelines. There are no guidelines to teaching it. Um, this is something that the Vermont Holocaust Memorial has been working with, with some legislators. We're trying to bring uh, about a bill to create standards for Holocaust and genocide education in the state. This is something that can happen again if we're not careful, if we're not vigilant. We don't want history to repeat itself. And, and that's where the, the saying never again comes from should not happen again and let's as far as Vermont Holocaust Memorial is concerned let's make sure that it's taught to our students let's make sure that it's in schools and it's properly taught well the library has done a great job bringing in uh, a lot of accompanying events we have two authors coming uh, Alexander Wolf will be uh, coming to talk about his book End Papers and Heidi Fishman will be coming uh, to talk about her book Tutti's Promise about her mother's experiences as a Holocaust survivor there are also going to be films shown from the period a film called Three Minutes a Lengthening is one that uh, we're helping bring to the community that film is going to be a premiere here Well, it's all pretty emotionally affecting. I can tell you that every single every single panel is is is, is disturbing. Um, and I understand that this is a tough time to be looking at disturbing things. Um, but if we don't, then we're blind to what's happening in the current day. And in my perspective, that's the darkest thing of all is when we don't see it coming. <laughs>